Hi, my name is Marie Chang, and today I will be drawing myself into the TV show Invader Zim. I've already designed myself in the style of the show, which I showed in a previous video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. This is the still that I want to draw myself into. I love the idea of being able to draw myself eating or drinking something, and so I think I'm gonna have myself drinking boba along with the other characters in this scene. I'm gonna start off as I always do, just blocking in kind of the rough shape. I couldn't really figure out at first how I wanted to draw my character's mouth because I really liked how the alien on the right has those bulging cheeks. I just feel like that's something that I definitely would have if I were in this scene. But it also looked really weird at first on my design, so I was just trying to figure that out. Once I had that down, I was able to kind of rough in the arms, my general proportions, and hopefully this boba will sustain me. It's about half of my size in the scene. I could always go for more boba though. Once I have this really rough drawing down, I kind of compared it to my more clean original design. I just wanted to make sure that the proportions were looking accurate. It was a little tricky for me because the original design I did was so stretched and this one is a more natural expression. So I wanted to make sure that the volume stayed consistent and I also couldn't really decide what my expression would be. Obviously, I loved drinking the boba, but I think that could translate into different ways. So this is just a look at me trying to figure out where the line should go and what angles looked right to me. This was definitely the hardest part, just making sure that that pose was reading clearly, but also natural, and also the first time I was trying this design in this pose. So a lot of learning curves for sure. Something that I always have to remind myself of when I'm doing these is that even if it looks really bad at some point, at least you have something down and it's always easier to work with you know, a drawing that already exists in some way, then nothing at all. So I'm doing that thing that I like to do where you invert your image so that you can see it from a different perspective and just make sure that everything looks good to you. Uh, I, and either way, a lot of times it's how I figure out what looks off about my drawing. So now that I'm done with that rough line art, I'm going back through and I'm doing a cleaner pass at it just to try to get a tighter line for me to gradually get to the place where I can do my final line art. This isn't the final one. It's still pretty rough as, is, as you can see, but it's getting there and it's getting closer. At this point, as you can notice, the perspective of the boba lid is pretty off, and so that's something that I'm gonna go back and fix later. But even watching this video now, it's like, oh, that seems so obvious, but sometimes when you're drawing, it doesn't immediately pop. So just because you don't catch something the first time doesn't mean that you're a bad artist. You can always just go back and make changes. So now I am finally fixing that off perspective lid. It's closer and closer, it's you know slowly getting there. And once I have this tighter, cleaner, rough line art ready, I'm gonna look for a brush that most closely matches the width and the line weight of the original characters in this scene. I just wanna make sure that my character, again, looks like it belongs. So once I found that brush and found the right width, I can go through and just draw over my existing lines. Because my eye shape and my overall character design is much closer to Invader Zim's design than the aliens in this scene, there were moments where I had to make sure that I pulled up that original image and checked with that, as opposed to referencing the characters that are actually in the scene with me. I also really struggled to figure out how I should draw my little ponytail because I wanted to force this perspective enough so that I could include it, so it looked like me, but it also looked really funky 
in certain places. So it took me a lot of different tries and some different variations before I was finally happy with it. I even went back and changed the rough line art I did just because, you know, there was a pose that felt better to me. And I do that a lot. So just know, even if you've already moved on to your clean line art, you can always go back and change the blueprint that you're working off of. My so-called rough or clean rough drawing was actually still pretty rough when I was doing this final line art. So there was a lot of me building out those proportions still and trying to maintain a certain level of volume that I wouldn't have had to be as attentive to is if I had put together a more final kind of layer underneath for me to work with. But this way works as well. I was trying to figure out how little my hands should be and how little my feet should be. And you know, it's just such a unique type of design. So I wanted to make sure it was true to the show. As you can see, I always save that boba cup for last because it's been giving me so much trouble, which honestly goes to show how difficult prop designers, you know, how hard that job is just to make sure that all the props align and are in the look of the show and they have to have all the right proportions and volume. And that was something I really struggled with in this drawing. To be honest, I don't think that my boba cup is perfect by any means, but in this moment, you know, it worked for the scene and I was kind of at a point where I was like, let me just draw this and get it down and then see how, what it looks like. For the straw, I decided to kind of just hint that it went into the milk tea. I'm not sure what the logic behind that is, but for some reason it felt right to me. I'm now doing a flat color of this pink tone because I color picked something that in the scene would be white and that color was a pinkish. Uh, I don't always use that exact color, but usually something around that will give you an opportunity to easily put that as a multiply layer on top of your flat color image and your entire character will just look like it actually matches the lighting of the scene. Again, not the only way to do it, but it just tends to be the fastest. So now that I'm coloring in my design, I'm just using all the same colors from that original drawing. I decided to give myself milk tea, so I chose this color. And now I'm going through and putting in some shadows, trying to match to the best of my ability the kind of shadows that they have in the show. I made my shadows a little bit of like a purplish color and then put them on a separate multiply layer. Again, that kind of just got me the best look, but you can just play around with different filters and different shades and you'll kind of get what you think looks best. So now that I'm done coloring, this is the final image of me as a character in a scene from Invader Zim. Thanks so much for watching and let me know in the comments what other kinds of TV shows you want to see me draw myself into. In the meantime, I'm going to go get some boba.